most unusual day on the calendar, Leap Day. Most of us don't think twice when February 29th comes around every four years, but it's more important than you might think. Meteorologist Matt Gray joins us to explain the why behind Leap Day. Thank you, Derek. And one year is 365 days, except that it isn't. See, our calendar is based on that number of days, and that's very close to how long it takes for Earth to spin once around the sun, but it's not quite close enough. You see, it actually takes slightly longer for Earth to complete that full revolution. 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 46 seconds. Give a millisecond or two, close to one quarter of a day. And that's why we have a leap day every four years. It accounts for that extra time, almost exactly. But a leap day it also adds an extra 11 minutes every four years because it's not quite exact. And that means we skip a leap year every 100 years or so to stay on track. It's kind of complicated. So why do we go through all this effort to keep our calendar synced up with the orbit of the Earth? Well, the answer, friends, lies with the weather. You see, we are all used to the weather being a certain way at a certain time of the year. But without a leap day, the longer you go forward in time, the weirder things become. If we ended leap years right now, our calendar day would be 25 days behind the actual movement of our planet in 100 years from now. So, for example, February 28th, 2124 would be in the same part of Earth's orbit that February 3rd is right now. And it gets even weirder in 400 years without leap years. Spring would start in December, summer would start in March, fall would start in June, and winter would start in September, and everything would feel just very strange if you were able to time travel that far ahead. An extra day every four years makes a lot more sense than having each generation having to figure out when those seasons start. So coming up at six, I'll show you some other quirks of leap day weather in Spokane and why today looks like one for the record books. Derek.